So Carrie is at home asleep, people, and so I'm gonna start this video off by myself. I told him I was gonna to go to Walmart, and I couldn't help myself because there's a Goodwill right by it. So I have to stop in and just see, don't tell him. I was just here the other day, and it looks like all the same stuff, but you definitely have to dig because you just never know what's under there. And at this Goodwill, they just dump everything up on the top of the bins. But really, there there isn't too much. This actually is kind of cool, but uh, I don't know. I, I got so many plushes. I'm just going to pass on that. Um, lots of plushes here, but there a lot of them are just overpriced. And the toys are just like regular McDonald's toys. I have found a couple of good ones here before, but not much. Uh, this right. Ooh, look at this. This is, this is newer, but it's Chuck E. Cheese, and it's only $2.99 for two of them. So I've been finding a lot of Chuck E. Cheese lately, so that's kind of cool. And I always check the blankets. Carrie never checks the blankets or the towels because for some reason he just, I don't know why, he just doesn't bother. But um, I have found some really good ones. I do like this, but for $8.99, and I looked it up a little bit more, and it has some snags. So glassware, I'm always looking for mid-century modern, um, steins that aren't Budweiser, and plateware, I I just, I really don't do too much with the plates. I, I kind of stay away from them unless they had a certain type of pattern like Atomic or something, then maybe. And mugs, I'm always looking for Disney, cartoon characters, uh, advertisement pieces, anything like that. But today it just seems like slim pickings. Like I said, this is all the same stuff that was here when I was uh, here the other day. Nothing to, well, sports sometimes, but not that one. And then, uh, let's see, this one, nope. No, not that one either. And this, no, I just kind of got, I like the pattern on that, but no. Uh, not too much on the mugs. I, now, these are cool. I love this, but it does have damage. But look at these. These are freaking cool. Now, that's something I would like. And I always check the Christmas. I'm looking for vintage, of course, or like the vintage Christmas trees, the optic ones, the fiber optic, or... The, the ceramic ones with the bulbs, I don't see anything. This all looks like new stuff just from like, you know, Kmart or, or Target or something like that. A lot of paperwares, but uh, not anything really good. Uh, nothing, not much here. I have to dig in here because you never know what is under there because I have found some, some really good stuff before, but not today. Uh, let's see. Not not much. Look at this. Uh, Budweiser Stein people. Now, we know that that doesn't sell. I have personally stopped buying those. But you, if you find the right one, it can be worth some money. Uh, looking for vintage ornaments. Don't see any. They all seem to be newer, uh, generic, uh, recently made. And no good Christmas mugs. This is where I find some cool stuff is this little knickknack area. I found the butterfly thing that was worth like hundreds of dollars in this little section, but nothing really good today. I did like the cabbage patch thing, but it's really not worth anything and it has some marks on it. So all in all, not much. So didn't find much in there. I'm leaving with just my uh, Chuck E. Cheese plushes and that's it. So you started the video without me, I heard. I did, well, you were sleeping. Yeah, I was asleep. So in, in fairness to Dawn, I was asleep. She was awake. Well, she you know started. if I pass a thrift store, I can't help myself. Yep, and you found anything? I found the two Chuck E. Cheese blushes. Nice. Well done. We are on our way for the official real start of thrifting oh, with me. I can't start it, huh? You, you can, you did, <laughs> but it's not the official starting. Oh, okay. We're gonna go hit up the same savers we went to yesterday. We've heard they might have some more of those dolls. Um, and then we're gonna try somewhere else probably as well. Then we're gonna get back and get to pat posting and shipping and doing our real work. We posted all those dolls from yesterday, right? We did. Every single one of them. Very proud of myself. I Dawn, posted half, he posted Yeah, and half. Dawn should be very proud of herself because usually those will sit in a pile and we'll get to other stuff we're interested in first. I did some cards too. I posted quite a few cards afterwards. I, I, I so didn't want to start posting yesterday. I was not in the mood. I started and I got on a roll. I did Don't with the dolls. Love that? I did with the dolls. It's yeah, once fine. you get in a roll, like you'll just keep going and going. That's the key. Trick yourself into starting to post. And then before you know it, a lot of the time, you'll, you'll be in a groove and you'll just get into it. You'll be watching something on a Netflix or whatever you're doing, listening to music. And then before you know it, you've listed Listen hopefully to a, a bunch of stuff. Listening to a Trash to Cash podcast. Yeah, I mean, if you got nothing better to do. 
Back at the Charleston Sabres. Let's see if we have the same luck we had yesterday. We're going directly to the toy section, see if new toys from that collection or lot were put out. It doesn't look like anything. There was a Spice Girl figure, believe it or not, not worth much of anything at all. There was a couple that were left over and a couple random new ones overall, but we did find some stuff over in this section. Here's two Five Nights at Freddy plushes for $2 a piece. We're gonna pick them up at that price, probably gonna go on whatnot, but for $4 for one, we're gonna, we thought about it, but we're gonna pass on that one. Dawn did find another Five Nights at Freddy plush. It's a, from the sequel, Sister Location. It was $2.99, she finds it right here. We did decide to get that one. Not sure if we overpaid, right about at the limit of what we would pay, but you know, we're gonna get it, probably put it in the auction ultimately. I'm not sure if this one was here the other day, but this is a Colonel Candy Kelly Club figure, $3.99. I think pretty reasonably we can get like about 12 to $18 plus shipping on it. I saw an action figure bag behind these two toy bags right here. It appeared to have a Shang-Chi action figure. It just came out last year, not a Marvel legend, but still something. This is a Jurassic World figure with no tail, and probably the best figure in here is this small one. It's a 3.75 inch uh, Marvel Legends Iron Man, not bad. I messed up on these purchases, it happens. These Voldemorts, I looked on eBay at the store and I only saw one at 17. I didn't look hard enough. There's some as low as like seven, eight dollars. And then also the Jasmines are about 10. I'll make a few dollars on the Jasmine and the Voldemorts, I'll probably lose money. I'm gonna put them on whatnot. These are pretty cool. These are like those army men figures, but they're Yoga Joes. So they're army men in yoga poses. Too much, unfortunately not worth a lot, but still pretty cool. This is a great shoe brand to look out for when you're at the thrift store on cloud definitely can be worth some money i checked these over and you could see the bottom just the tread is gone so they're not worth picking up but if you see ones with good tread look them up you could very well make some money now this is where i really really did well today i found all of these las vegas aviators and 51 jerseys um they were 4.99 a piece except for one was like seven something i didn't get that one these should all get me about 15 to 22 dollars a piece plus shipping. Now these are stadium giveaways. So you would go to an aviators game here in Las Vegas on a certain day, some random day in July, and they gave away one night only. This is a, a Wally Backman um, stadium giveaway jersey. He used to play for the Pirates, I believe. And they would give it away one night only. And the, they have a whole bunch of different ones they've done over the years. Not super high quality jerseys, but people collect them and they'll wear them to the game sometimes. So I couldn't pass on these. Spent Gosh, probably $40 total, $5 a piece. And I should pull in, gosh, well over $100, $120, maybe more. Don't be sleeping on the Hallmark keepsakes, especially the ones that look a little bit newer like this. This is an arts and crafts like bungalow. It was $349. Should get me about $19, $18, 19 plus shipping. This one, similar. I looked it up and it's only going for $8 to $10. So look them all up. But this one was definitely worth my time. On to another savers here in Las Vegas. When you see these Disney and Infinity figures on the card, brand new in the package like this. Look them up, $9.99. That one's only worth about 10 bucks ish but some of them can be worth big money if they're rare. Same with these Lego Dimensions. I don't feel like there's many of uh, these Dimensions that are valuable, but look them up. I found one more of these guys, another one of the different savers. Ahmed Rosario played for the Mets. That's one of his stadium giveaway jerseys they did. This one should get me about 15 to 20 plus shipping. So I'm back in the eBay Thunderdome. I'm about to do some listing for tonight. But I wanna talk a little bit about the other side of my business, what I don't always talk about. Most of my channels, um, wherever I'm at, are about treasure hunting, looking for items and what we find and what it could sell for. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what things have sold for. Today on eBay, we have sold 10 items. I'm gonna go quickly through them. I'm gonna put them up on the screen like a good old fashioned what's sold. You can see behind the screen of, of what I'm selling. A lot of it's passion stuff like cards, not always big money. And other things were pretty good today. It was a pretty good all around day to kind of give you an idea of what we're selling. I'm gonna look at the screen. So this might be a little weird. I'm gonna look at the screen and just tell you and it'll pop up here on the screen. First sale of the day. This looks like it was from a, a viewer based on the uh, comment. Um, it was a uh, Killian Hayes green mosaic rookie and a Kyrie Irving card. And both of those together sold for $2 plus shipping, $2 plus shipping. That's simple. Those are dollar cards. I sell those. I have probably 10,000 plus of those that I can sell or more. And I just had, and then, you know, on up from, from a dollar and above, but dollar being kind of like the baseline of what I would post on eBay. 
Um, we got a Bryant. Well, sometimes I'll do lots. Let's be honest. Sometimes I do a lot and I do it cheap. So it would be less than a dollar a card. I sold a B Brian Erlacher card. I got this at, um, what was the place? Burbank Cards last week for a dollar and it sold for three seventy five dollars plus shipping. So, I mean, that's what, three times my money after fees, give or take, not big money, but I enjoy it. A Hawaii hat. This is a vintage Hawaii hat that I got in a estate sale with Dave in Florida. This hat right here, I paid, I think it was $5. I think we paid $5 for this and it sold for $25 plus shipping. Vintage 80s corduroy, cool hat. Sold a Brian Asamoah um, wildcard gold auto, 71 out of 100. I got this out of a $35 box that I opened um, with uh, some cards that I put through the auction and some cards that I, I posted. That was not the good box. I bought two of them this week. One of them, I posted like 150 plus worth of cards. And this one, I, you know, I might break even or make a little money. It wasn't the best box. But this card sold for $12 plus shipping. So a $12 autograph of a rookie this year. I sold a Panini's Chronicle Cameron Thomas Essentials Red Rookie number to 149. This one I believe was from a dollar box and it sold for $5 plus shipping. I took an offer, I had it at 10 and it sold for $5 plus shipping. We sold, this is cool, Don got this maybe three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago. It's a hand painted ceramic blue and white fishnet monkey Andrea by Sadiq monkey statue basically. I believe, I mean, I can't imagine her paying more than five bucks for this. It's probably like three. Um, and it sold for $30 plus shipping. That sold today. So a ceramic monkey statue. Cool stuff. We have a 2000 Topps Chrome Johnny Unitas card. I don't even remember when I got this. I might have got this from a box. So what I do, and I'm going back up. Originally, I was going to go to uh, Utah this weekend, but we're tired. We've been running around everywhere. So I'm going to miss that concert. I'll hopefully hit the next one. Hopefully, they'll come to Vegas. That'd be easier. And I'm going to go the next week a little bit because they're going to have a card show. And I like to go to this card show, and I like to buy cards in bulk. And in the past, I bought from this one, um, a couple guys who have a store, and they'll sell me like 1,500 cards for 500 bucks. And this, I think, was from that, and it sold for $4. So one card from the 1,500 sold for $4. Plus shipping. Oh, cool. We sold the Anastasia Dream Waltz doll 1997 in a damaged box and missing the cassette. So originally new in the box, it would have a cassette, which nobody uses anymore, but that's part of the original box. We bought that for $10 with Dave in Crossville at the garage sale. Garage sales. I remember we went to that one. He found a Monster High doll that was worth 100 bucks, and we got both of the Anastasia dolls that were worth like 30, 40, 50. This one sold for 30 bucks plus shipping. So we made maybe 12, 13, 14 dollars profit. It was an offer I sent out. I sent out a bunch of offers earlier today. And last and not least, um, a chrome silver Roberto Clemente 2017 shiny card. Um, I don't know what I paid for that. It was probably in that $500 box, so 20 cents maybe or less. And it sold for 250 plus shipping. So that's what I sold uh, just today. Just today since I woke up, well, I woke up a little later than Don, as you know, if you watch the video. But um, since the start of the day till the end, we still have like three hours left. So I might get a sale or two more. But I love, you know, selling on eBay in particular. That's probably my favorite thing to do. One of my favorite things to do is sit here with a pile of cards in particular. You know, I, I was going through some mini cards I have uh, and I was just posting some and I found a Yesterday, I found a Vince Lombardi in this box that I'd forgot about, numbered to 25. Posted that for 18 bucks, just sitting in there in the closet. I'd totally forgotten about it, and I have a ton of stuff like that. So it's fun to go through. It's kind of therapeutic for me. I love cards, but I also love reselling in general. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Of course, I'm not going to end now because that would be too obvious. Go Ducks, guys. The Mighty Ducks, D2 in particular, best film ever.